Hello, my friends. In this video, we'll talk about the app resources. Resources are the additional files and static content that your code uses, such as bitmap, layout definitions, user interface strings, animation instructions, and more. You should always externalize app resources, such as images and the strings from your code so that you can maintain them independently. So you want to be a professional Android app developer but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. Once you externalize your app resources, you can access them using resource IDs and that are generated in your projects R class. You should place each type of resource in a specific subdirectory of your project's REST directory. We've seen in the previous videos that we've created layouts, uh, files.xml, and we placed them into the layout folder. Also, we saw that we placed the uh, PNGs or drawables, um, it, like a background for our activities in the drawable folder. So you should store each type of resources in specific subdirectory. You can't store the layout in the drawable or row or values folder okay so let's talk about each folder separately let's start with the animator folder animator folder is used to store the xml files that define property animations while the anime folder xml files that define between animations Property animations can also be saved in this directory, but the animator directory is preferred for property animation to distinguish between these two types. Later on, when we talk about the animators in a separate uh, section, we will see these two folders. The color directory. XML files that define a state list of colors are stored in the color directory. When we talk about directory, which means a folder, okay? So file and folders. Folders are directories. Drawable folder is used to store bitmap files such as .png, .9.png, .gpg, .jeff, or XML files that are compiled into the following drawable resource subtypes. Bitmap files, nine patches, stateless shapes animation drawables and others and by the way this is the most used folder in the resources that we will use through this course and through app development process and also we are going to discover the the power of this uh, folder and uh, the different shapes animation drawables bitmap files and uh, different drawables that we can store in this file. Mipmap, drawable files for different launcher icon densities. Layout folder, used to store XML files that define a user interface layout. Menu, XML files that define app menus such as options menu, context menus, or submenus are stored inside this directory. Row folder, arbitrary files to save in the row form. Values, XML files that contain simple values such as strings, integers, and colors. XML, XML folder is used to store arbitrary XML files that can be read and that can be read at runtime by calling resources.getXML method. The font. Font files with extensions such as .ttf, .otf, or .ttc, or XML files that include font family elements are stored inside this 
font folder. So we've uh, learned as a quick recap about uh, what, what we are going to learn about the app resources, different app resources and different uh, folders. These are the folders in the, in the, um, included in the app resources or REST folder. Now let's move and learn about the most important things and most important folders now, okay, in the next videos. Later on, we'll talk about the animator and anime and other uh, folders that are not important till now, okay? So we're going to learn about the most important folders in this.